The Chain Letter Game Jam is a challenge game jam that's been making its rounds in the indie game dev community. The game jam was started by Mrs. Is. 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 is? This guy. Essentially, the concept of the game jam is that someone creates a game, then nominates other game devs to then create a game of their own that is in some way inspired by the game from the person who nominated them, and then once they finish their game, they nominate someone else, and the cycle and tree continue and expand. I was just nominated by Polymorris, who created a hangman style game, where you play as the hangman and swing around to collect letters to attempt to guess the word. Polymorris was nominated by Zyger, who was nominated by Vimlark, who was nominated by the Mizzes himself. Link to all of their games and or videos will be in the description below. Now before I get into my game, if you don't know who I am, I'm Turkey Dev, and I don't really consider myself a true game dev as I don't really make games in the traditional sense, but instead I like recreating games using various very unconventional game engines. This was all started when I saw a video by Polymars where he made a game in Discord which inspired me to make a few of my own, and now for the most recent Love Dare 48, I made a game using only HTML and CSS. Enough background, let's get to actually making this game for this game jam. So first off, since I don't use traditional game engines, I need to decide the platform I want to make this game on. For this game, I decided to utilize good old spreadsheets, specifically Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. I started Google Sheets simply because it's all online and the easiest to share with others, but unfortunately things just did not pan out for this first attempt for a few reasons. The biggest being I was just a bit too ambitious. On top of making a game in Google Sheets, I also limited myself to only using built-in functions, no scripting allowed. I did make a very basic game that basically takes the game Mastermind but remixes it to be a guessing a word instead of a color pattern. As you can see here, it does work and actually looks okay, but it brings up the second issue of it just really wasn't all that amazing of a game. Mastermind is a nice puzzle game, but honestly it's not all that entertaining and I felt I could do more and better. The third and final nameless coffin for this attempt was the limitation on sheets and the built-in functions. I had no way to make cells change their contents of other cells. Only functions can set its own cells contents. Thus you have no way to make an input cell that automatically clears its input on say a game restart. In addition to this there is no way to create a game loop that has a tick speed of less than one minute because that's as low as Google Sheets provides for an auto update. With this game idea more or less dead in the water, I decided to allow scripting to make a game and after playing around with some more Google Sheets, I just wasn't the biggest fan of the system, mainly being the fact that it was all online and running off the cloud. I wanted a more controlled environment and ideally have it running locally. With that in mind, I ended up switching over to Microsoft Excel, and with it no more JavaScript for a scripting engine, and instead hello, Visual Basic? So uh, I'll be honest here, I've never written a line of Visual Basic, and at the time of this video, supposedly Excel is getting a new scripting engine called like Lambda or something, but I don't have access to that, so VBA it is. Since Polymorphs made a game remixing Hangman, I decided to use that as well, but also mash in the game that started this all, Snake. So essentially, the way this game will work is that the player will control a snake on the game board with various letters strewn on it. Eating a letter will cause the player to guess that letter in the hangman board, and if they get it right, they continue, but getting it wrong causes their snake to increase in length. Solving a word will reset the hangman and wrong letter counts, but not the snake length. Basically, you'll be playing hangman through snake. Anyways, I think I've talked long enough, let's get to actually writing some code, shall we? The first thing to do was determine how the player would actually provide inputs into the game. I knew I could leverage buttons into a crude controller, but being able to use a keyboard directly is most ideal. After some googling, I came across the application.onKey method that allows you to bind a function call to when a key is pressed. Now you can't bind every key with this method, but if you look at the documentation, the arrow keys can be bound. So after some fiddling around, we achieved keyboard inputs. Now with the movement input sorted, I quickly built up simple logic to make a one block snake move around with the inputs by simply changing the cell background colors. Along with this, I also added in code to generate and reset the game board just to get that all started. The movement works, but honestly making the snake move only when the user gives input to the system isn't all that great. To address that we need to make a game loop instead, and update the snake's position in that loop on a timed increment instead of using the user's inputs. This was something that gave me great pains in Google Sheets, so this was another make it or break it situation with Excel. Excel has two built-in time functions we can use to achieve a timed game loop, sleep and wait. 
Unfortunately, neither will work as sleep blocks the entire UI update and all events during the sleep period, meaning it misses the user's inputs and the wait function can't go below one second, which is a barrier I really wanted to break. Luckily, there is a third option that is much more hacked together and fits this project much better, the do nothing loop approach. The TLDR of this approach is to put the game into a do nothing loop for the in-between time in the tick during which the only thing that happens is the Excel listens for events like keyboard inputs. It took a few tries to implement this, and after messing up and causing a real infinite loop that made me lose almost all of my work and forced me to recode it from the stream VOD, which by the way this game was created during my live streams on Twitch, twitch.tv slash turkeydev, check me out there, I finally had the snake moving on its own without any user inputs, only updating around every half second for a solid 2 TPS. During this time, I also added a game over state when you went off the game board. Now with Snake more or less scaffolded out, it was time to move on to the Hangman half of the game. I started out with placing a temporary Hangman board along with the places where the word and wrong letters would go. I then started to code up the bits to hook into these cells with a temporary word of turkey, as well as learning how arrays and lists works in VBA so I could use them to store the right and wrong letters guessed by the player. Utilizing these two lists, I then converted the current word into underscores if a given letter had not been guessed, and then displayed that on the sheet. But without the letters on the game board, the player can't really play Hangman, so adding those was up next. Doing this was quite simple, as I simply generated 10 random letters and randomly placed them on the snake board, and then every time I update, I checked the player's snake location against the list of placed letters, and if any of them matched, that letter was then added to the right or wrong lists, depending upon if the current word had that letter. I also added a pound or hashtag to the board that if the player collected, it would then re-pick or re-randomize the letters on the game board. Doing this though, I learned how slow Excel is, as clearing out all of the board values and replacing them with the new letters actually took a few seconds to do, and because of this, I always made sure to keep cell values changes out of the render loop and to only do them when needed. During this time, I also made the word get randomized using an endpoint I made for myself to get random words for situations just like this. And now with all that said and done, we have our Snake Man game complete. Okay, maybe not quite complete yet, but the core is there and just polishing and some final details are left, with the first of those being the growing snake. To do this, I simply re-implemented the same system from my Discord snake game, where the snake's body is stored in a queue, with every update pushing the snake's current location onto the queue, and then we would then remove the front of the queue if the length of the snake is less than the length of the queue. I also decided to color the head of the snake differently from the rest of it to allow the user to better distinguish where they were. Now I just needed to add the three end states, ending the game when you cross your body, which is as simple as checking your snake's location against the said queue from before, ending the game when you make too many wrong guesses, which in this case is six letters in the wrong letters list, and then progressing the game to the next level when the player has successfully guessed the word, causing the game to reset, but importantly not the snake's length, making the game harder and harder each round. Now the only thing left is implement the state changing of our hangman guy. This was done by simply changing the borders of the cells that are shown based upon the given amount of wrong guesses. I did end up learning you could do diagonal borders, so I switched the arms and legs to use them, and voila, Snake Man is complete. I did make some small tweaks after recording, like adding a random counter, but we can ignore that for right now. Overall, this game was very fun and challenging to make, given my zero knowledge about VBA coming into this, and while my code is probably abysmal in places, it still works. Now I have no idea how to share this game with everyone, I don't know if exporting a sheet includes the scripts or not, so if you know how to, please let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, I've included a gist of the VBA source code in the description below for you tinkerers out there to check out. But other than that, I just don't quite know the best way to give it for everyone else to play it themselves. So now with my game complete, it's time for me to nominate some other people to make games of their own. For that, I am nominating first the only other person I know who actually likes writing Visual Basic and has made a killer game in it, and that is my friend Space My Name. Now for the other person I want to nominate, I actually didn't really know a whole lot of game developers, and because of that I struggled to figure out who I wanted to nominate for the second person. However, I am going to be participating in a very large collaboration with around 50 game developers in the future, so if you aren't already subscribed you should do that now so you don't miss my video on that project, it comes out later this summer. 
But from that, I have sort of started getting to know a lot of developers. And from that, I want to nominate Wadeep, also new by Peter on that. And I want to nominate him to also make a game for this game jam. So Peter and Spacey, I look forward to seeing what you both make. Good luck, have fun guys. But that'll be all for me. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.